Kyle Kuzma gained a lot of attention when he tweeted that highlight culture has absolutely killed the game of basketball. He added that the nuance of the game is lost. This may have seemed like a controversial topic, but that doesn't mean it hasn't been discussed before. This grievance has been around for a long time. Kuzma isn't the only one who has a problem with highlight culture, although it is true that this idea is more commonly applied to AAU and high school circuits. Kuzma's former Lakers teammate, Kobe Bryant, has been speaking out against the this since before 2015. The late legend said that European players know how to play the game right. Explaining his perspective, he added that they're just taught the game the right way from an early age. This leads to them being more skilled. And that's a problem that needs to be addressed in America. Speaking of AAU basketball, Bryant said it was horrible, terrible, and stupid. Although it would have been pretty apt if he just stopped right there, Kobe further explained his point of view. He explained that highlight culture doesn't teach the kids how to play the game at all. Instead, what the team ends up with are players who try to make fancy moves and apparently show off how big they are. They remain unbothered by the fact that they don't even know the fundamentals of the game. And it's true, highlight culture is really killing the essence of the sport. Here's Beal to Monte Morris. Morris to Gafford in the high post. I'll explain the concept of highlight culture for those unfamiliar with the term. It basically refers to players pursuing highlight-worthy moments instead of utilizing the potential that teamwork has. For Dallas, and he also have five rebounds so far in this game. Here's Kuzma attacking. No doubt, it's a worry selfish approach, but you can't really blame the players of this generation. I mean, they grew up watching highlight reels online, and that's what they aimed for to have an impressive highlight reel of their own. So it seems like having access to online highlight reels 24 7 has really ruined the culture of the game. Scout reporters box him out because already Lopez is killing the Wizards. Bad as play. a dream shake, number two. <laughs> I mean, sports are supposed to be fun, and there's no doubt that young players look up to their idols on the court, so it's no big deal that they often mimic the celebrations of their favorite athletes. But that's not the problem. The real issue lies with how the game itself is played. Nowadays, flashy moments and subsequent celebrations completely overshadow things like fundamentals and basketball IQ. And this is something that can't be allowed to go on, which is why many players other than Kuzma are speaking up about it as well. Quick development with Ty Ty Washington. There's the lava, the turnover, Kuz with a run out and the dunk. Recently, Minnesota Timberwolves guard Austin Rivers spoke out against highlight culture. He explained to Ringer NBA why the phenomenon has completely destroyed the game. And to emphasize his point, he drew on personal experience. The 30-year-old says that back in his day when he was in high school, you only got a mixtape if you were a top-tier guy. This meant that you had to put in the effort and make sure your work was consistent. If you wanted a mixtape to your name, you had to first make a name for yourself. That, that even goes with... Mm. The team. And that had nothing to do with him coming at my father. I, I really don't care. That's between him and my pops. But as far as him talking about me being my coach, that, that, that has never had a play. In the it was an honor to have a Ball's Life or a Hoop mixtape. Players didn't pursue that on the field, though. They didn't play just so they could have their own mixtape. Good shots. Here's none behind the back to Kuzma, and he has tied the game up. It was just something that would follow after you played great games. Of course, Rivers added that this is very different from what we see going on nowadays. You can find highlight reels of just about anyone on the internet. Kids only watch these highlights and skip the actual basketball games. By Washington, Gafford just walled up right there and was in the proper place for the switch. Able to... In fact, people are paying these content creators to come to games. The game has become all about players trying to market themselves. That's why you see that whenever someone does something like dunking on someone and boy when you talk about a guy that's done his share of they just look straight at the camera and do their signature celebration everybody gets a mixtape now and they can just pay for it this is not like how it was back in the day rivers said that he never asked hoop mixtape to follow him and he didn't pay them or any other company a dollar he got attention and fame simply because he was good at what he did the entire landscape of the game has changed now and it seems like nobody watches for the actual basketball or the purity of the game as rivers put it but that's not entirely true all hope isn't lost we still see a AAU coaches that focus on game fundamentals, and many teams play selflessly. A moving train, baby. You don't want to do it. THT! 
Of course, social media plays a big role in players chasing highlights over wins, but saying that it kills the game of basketball is a strong statement. Granted, there are many players that focus on themselves and not the team, but there are some good examples to look up to. For example, if you look at the Warriors, they have players who make highlight plays but still put the team first. That's the balance you're looking for. Nevertheless, the fact remains that these exceptions are too few, and pressure from social media can be too much for young players. Whether or not basketball culture has been irreparably wrecked is a question that we just don't have a definitive answer to. But one thing is for sure, Kyle Kuzma isn't afraid of raising the real issues. And well, he also isn't afraid of asking the right questions. As another recent tweet set the internet abuzz, Kyle responded to Ja Morant's dunk contest request. The Memphis Grizzlies star, Morant, wanted to see Jericho Sims and Shaden Sharp in the NBA 2023 contest. Morant asked whether it's possible to get both Sims and Sharp on board, considering that the two youngsters are unstoppable when it comes to throwing the ball down. But Kyle Kuzma asked the real question as he responded, what about you? He leans into one, none with the offensive rebound, back to Kuzma with the hot hand again! Like us, Kuz just couldn't help but wonder if Ja would be joining the competition as well. And I don't blame him. I, for one, would love to see Morant bringing his gravity-defying hope and powerful throwdowns to the contest. And it seems like I'm not the only one. Fans, players, and media have been urging Morant to join the league. Reggie Miller even begged him to take part in it during a live broadcast. However, it's all been to no avail. The Grizzlies youngster made a ridiculous demand to ensure he never has to enter the competition. Sometimes I might not be able to get all Another highlight and Pirtle on another poster. He told his fans he'd consider participating if his fans gave him 1 billion likes. <laughs> Yikes. Morant is one of the NBA's better scorers, and he's often made headlines for his remarkable finishes at the rim. There's no Grizzlies fan that wouldn't want him to make a statement about just how good of a dunker he is. Recently, his eye-popping dunk during warm-ups had people begging him to join the NBA's dunk contest. Many fans took to Twitter to ask him to join the NBA's marquee All-Star Weekend event, but it seems like Morant just wasn't having it. He responded with a a hilarious meme in which he declined the proposition, and judging by the gif, he won't be taking part in the event anytime soon. With that one hilarious reply, he ended all speculation of him participating and simultaneously let down thousands of fans, including me for one. But I know I'm not the only one hoping that, by some miracle, Morant somehow changes his mind. It seems like Kyle Kuzma is part of this Ja Morant fan club as well. Anywho, that's the response that Kuzma gave to Morant's dunk contest request. See you in the next video.